Welcome back to another Roblox Studio tutorial. This video is going to be a part two to the level complete message video that I did in the past. And I got a lot of requests on how to do different colors for different parts in the game. So that's what we're going to take a look at now. So whenever my player touches on this first part here, the message is going to show up in the color red, just like the part color. When they get to level two here, it's going to show up in the purple color, just like the part. And then finally, when they get to the last one here, it'll show up in blue because that's the color of the part. This is probably going to be a relatively short video because I'm not going to go through all the scripts again. I'm just going to highlight the changes that we need to make. And then if you want a better explanation of what the scripts do, then I'll have the original video linked in the description. All right, so let's go ahead and dive in and see how we can do this in Roblox Studio. All right, so we're going to start with the script that should be inside the level part. Okay, on this script, there's a couple different changes. So let me just go over that really quickly. The first change that we made on this script was this part right here. Before what we did is we manually entered the level part's name. So for this one, it might be something like level underscore one. And what we're gonna do to make things a little bit easier for ourselves is instead of us typing in the name of the part, we're just going to grab it from the part itself. So remember up here, we created a variable for the part itself. So down here to get the name of this part, we can just say level part dot name. It's important to remember though, that in the explore menu, you have to rename your parts to the different levels. So if you want this part to say level one, then make sure that's the name of the part over in the explore menu. Okay, and the other part that we update with that same line is gonna be right here. And the other part of the script that we change is down here for the remote event. And if you haven't already, change it to fire all clients so that it shows up for all players. But inside the parentheses here, the part that we're gonna add is the color of the part, which is this right here. Just like we did for the name, we're going to start with a part and then get its brick color. And then we're gonna be sending that color to the local script, which is where we actually create the text message. All right, so just remember after you make the changes for the script that you copy it and paste it into your new parts. So an easy way to do that would just be to right click on the script, press copy, and then for each new part that you want to be a level part, just right click and then press paste into. All right, so now for the local script that should be in starter player scripts. So let's go and take a look at that one. Okay, and for the changes for this one, we used to have a line up here that defined the text color. But what we're gonna do instead is down here for the welcome function, we're going to add a new parameter called part color. And that's gonna be the brick color that we got from the regular script on the part. And then the way we're gonna use that is down here for the color section. We're going to say part color dot color. Okay, and that's actually all the changes that we have to make, so it's really not too bad. So just as an example of how we can add more levels to this, let's go back over here and we'll add one more level. Okay, so for this new level part, I'm gonna change it from level three to level four. And then I don't have to make any more changes to the script here because instead of manually putting in the name of it, we're just grabbing it from the part. Okay, let's choose a new color for this one. So let's say for this one, let's do orange. Now let's go and run the game and we can check it out. Okay, so when I touch the red part, it's red. The purple one is purple. Blue shows up as blue. And then for yellow, it's yellow. All right, so that's gonna be it for this video. I know it's pretty short, but I got a lot of requests for this. So instead of trying to explain this in the comments, I thought it'd be easier just to make a little video. So I hope this helps out and stay tuned for the next one.